Hi all, it's Ziv from Elementor. Today I'll show you how to create cool engaging pop-ups that are triggered when reaching a specific element on this conference event page. They feel as if they're part of the web page and are a great way to interact with your visitors. In this example, they're prompted with a question, asking them whether or not they're interested about staying up to date for future events. Let's refer to this as the yes-no pop-up. If the visitor chooses yes, a second pop-up appears in a way that feels natural, as if it's part of the yes-no pop-up. It contains a contact form in order to subscribe to the newsletter. We will call this the form pop-up. Choosing no transitions to a third pop-up. Let's call it the second thoughts pop-up. It also seems part of the yes-no pop-up, and here the visitor is greeted nicely and given the opportunity to sign up if they've changed their mind by hitting the button that triggers the form pop-up. As you can see, this sequence of pop-ups based on user interactions really engages the visitor and personalizes the user experience. It might seem a little intricate, but don't worry, I'll show you how it's done step by step. All three pop-ups have the same build. We will focus on the pop-up settings and buttons that trigger them and create this engaging user interaction. So let's dive in and start off with the yes-no pop-up. Hit Command E to open the finder and choose Add New Pop-up. Name it and hit Create Template. I have pre-made the pop-ups for this tutorial, so in the library, I go to My Templates and insert the yes-no pop-up. Great. Let's go over some basic settings for this pop-up. I set the overlay to hide and the entrance animation to slide in down. Now let's hit publish and check out the conditions, triggers and advanced rules menu. Since this is the initial pop-up, it's the only one that needs conditions and triggers because the others are triggered by button clicks. I will set this yes no pop-up to display on our main conference event page. So in conditions, go to singular, all pages and search for the page and set it. Let's move on to the user actions that trigger the pop-up to appear. Hit next. Now, for this example, I will set the on scroll to element trigger because I want the pop-up to appear after the user reaches a specific section on the main page. The class is entered here. But first, let's go over to the main conference event page and in the editor, assign the class to the section where we want the yes no pop-up to be triggered. So, scroll down to this section and in the Advanced tab, under CSS Classes, type Register. Pay attention that you type it without the dot. Now what we need to do is set the on scroll to element trigger for the yes no pop-up to this class as well. So set it to yes and type the class. Dot register. Pay attention, here we do add the dot. This will initiate the sequence of pop-ups. For this pop-up we won't set any advanced rules. Ok great, hit save and close. Now let's check it out. Go to the main conference event page and start scrolling. As you can see, the yes no pop-up appears when we reach the section we just set it to. Cool. Now, let's say the visitor is interested in signing up and hits yes. We want the form pop-up to naturally appear after clicking the yes button. So let's create the form pop-up and go over its settings. Afterwards, I'll show you how to set it to appear upon clicking the yes button. Like before, hit command E, add new pop-up, my templates and I'll go ahead and insert my pre-made form pop-up. As you can see, the overlay is set to hide as well and the entrance animation is set to fade in, so it appears naturally on top of the yes no pop-up. In advanced settings, we set the prevent closing on overlay and escape key to yes. This way, the visitor will only be able to close the pop-up by hitting the close button. This pop-up is very similar to the yes no pop-up. The only difference is that it contains a form widget with an email field and button. Let's hit publish. We won't set any conditions, triggers and advanced rules for this pop-up because we want it to appear when clicking the yes button in the yes no pop-up. Ok great, now that we've created the form pop-up, hit save and close and let's go back to the yes no pop-up and set the yes button to trigger the form pop-up. Go to the yes button widget settings, under link, dynamic, choose pop-up and under Actions, set the action to open a pop-up. And in the pop-up field, search for and select the form pop-up. Great! Now that it's set, hit Update. Let's see it in action. As you can see, I've landed on this conference event page. 
After scrolling down and reaching the section we assigned the register class, we see the pop-up appears very naturally. It really does feel as if it's part of the page. Now let's hit yes. Cool, the form pop-up appears nicely as well. The fade in makes it seem as if it's all the same pop-up. Great. Now all that's left is the second thoughts pop-up. Visitors will see it when they hit no in the yes no pop-up. So let's create it and go over the settings. Afterwards I'll show you how to set it to appear when clicking no. Again, hit command E, add new pop-up, my templates and I'll insert my pre-made second thoughts pop-up. The pop-up settings as well as the advanced settings are identical to the form pop-up. So we will be focusing on the change your mind button. This pop-up gives the visitor an opportunity to sign up if they've changed their mind. The Change Your Mind button will trigger the form pop-up, allowing them to enter their email and sign up. So, like before, let's go to the button widget settings, under Link, Dynamic, choose Pop-up, and under Actions, set the action to open a pop-up. And in the pop-up field, search for and select the form pop-up. OK, great. Now hit Publish. For this pop-up, we won't set any conditions, triggers and advanced rules either, because we want the pop-up to appear when clicking No in the Yes No pop-up. Hit Save and Close, and let's go back to the Yes No pop-up and see how to set it. Like before, go to the No button widget settings. Under Link, Dynamic, choose Pop-up, and under Actions, set the action to open a pop-up. And in the pop-up field, search for and select the second thoughts pop-up. Great. Now that we've set all the pop-ups and buttons, let's hit update and see it all in action. One last time. Let's start scrolling. There's our yes no pop-up. Let's go ahead and hit yes. That's our form pop-up. Now let's see what happens if we hit no. Okay cool, that's our second thoughts pop-up. Now let's say we changed our mind and we hit the button. And it leads us back to the form pop-up. Cool. Well, that's it. Now you know how to create these cool, engaging pop-ups that are triggered when reaching a specific element on the page and provide a great way to interact with your visitors. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and pop-ups tutorials. See you later.